on the map it will give us a spot that how much where and how much is the uh, methane leakage hello guys welcome back today we are here at a flight site so we are going to test one of the amazing thing we bring here the methane detection sensor so the application of this sensor is the landfills uh, wherever there is a leakage of the methane uh, for the landfills and uh, island gas industries so this sensor can detect up to five parts per million and the response time of this is five meter per second so the telemetry distance from where you can sense it is a 300 meters so this sensor uh, can be supported with the matrix 350 and 300 series of the dji and uh, uh, so today we will try out this uh, detection how does it sense it and uh, we will see that uh, how does this sensor works so for the so as here in this side we have no methane detection leakage so we will use this module this one has inside a methane gas so we will keep this somewhere in the ground and we will start the sensing of the ground uh, and we'll show you that how does it detects let's start Okay guys, so as we have assembled the drone, putting the sensor inside, so we are now on the inspection side. So we will place this module here in this uh, landfills. So actually we didn't have any methane leakage over here. So we are testing with this device that how does this sensor sense it. So this app, the application of this sensor is on the land uh, fields and the island gas industry. So we will place this sensor over this module over here and we will see that uh, how does during the scanning mode when drone flies, uh, we will show you that how does it work. So let's go with me. Yeah, okay guys so we are at the blch4 uh, assistant interface so here we see the login details and here we see the payload like the blch4 payload is attached and uh, the m350 aircraft along with so we will uh, go to the entry flight so in this interface everything is same like dji pilot 2 so here we see the psdk setting so in this psdk setting we can switch off the scanning mode and change the gimbal uh, the angle and also the batteries everything is here gps and rtk setting so here on the left side uh, we see two uh, we see two legends in this graph so these two legends means like uh, the ch4 it can work like now it's zero because there is no ch4 scanning now and this l1 is like luminous intensity li so now the luminous intensity is like the light intensity the sensor is like the going inside the sensor yeah so here we can see the camera of the fpv uh, fpv drone this one is the camera of the sensor itself and this one is the uh, drone fpv and uh, here we see the ground so we will plan a small mission over here Okay guys, so as you can see the drone is in the flight mode, so it's scanning already the ground. So as we move forward, so as we place the module uh, inside the, the, there in the somewhere in the ground. On the map, it will give us a spot that how much, uh, where and uh, how much is the uh, methane leakage, you know parts per million. This is like uh, 2383, uh, you know it changes its value because it's uh, scanning. So here, as you uh, here on the graph side, you can already see the CH4 levels that how much it is. So it's down about 2,000 parts per million per meter.
okay guys so after performing an operation on site so we are back in office just to see the data in actual case so actually while scanning this sensor automatically detect the spot on the map and also capture the picture uh, for the record so all the data collected on site in real time it will uh, give you an alarming situation and will give you the figure of how much methane is uh, leaking and also this all this data is being synced to the cloud platform for the later uh, review so let's see on the controller that how can we access to the cloud platform and the data we collected that day on site so we will click on the time uh, interval and uh, here it will this is a cloud platform all the data is being synced to the cloud and uh, that day we were having a mission at uh, 5 december so we'll click on it so it will show you the all the timing and all the uh, operation the timing the whole timing of the operation uh, so at which time at which second it detect the sensor it will show you and capture the picture and for the record okay so here as uh, as we can see that uh, at 5 pm uh, 9 minutes so it detects the uh, methane of 1472 uh, parts per million and also it captures a picture so this data we cannot visualize it here we can also download the source data report in excel form and report in word form and also csv data of the source file so also in, in, in this uh, uh, we can also check the chart that uh, how the data is looking like and how about the graph for the whole operation okay guys so as you see that how can we access the cloud platform and which type of report we can generate from the cloud platform and we can also see the data that which spot uh, like the heat map and the picture for having rgb imagery and the sensing uh, sensitivity like uh, how much parts per million uh, was the leakage sensitivity so all this report we can share with the stakeholders afterward and for the real time it will give you also an alarming situation uh, that how where is the leakage and uh, how much is the leakage so concluding this sensor review for the operation for the methane detection this sensor is performing amazing in the island gas and landfill uh, methane detection so thank you guys for your time and for being with us for the whole operation if you have any question or need demonstration for this sensor in your specific area for island gas leakage detection don't hesitate to reach out to us we are at your doorstep thank you